Hey everybody, my name is Frank and I'm going to be doing a review of Click Apocalypse 2, which is an idle RPG that you can get on the Play Store for your Android device. So it just starts out, this is the title screen, pretty simple. Um, kill all the monsters, that's the goal of the game, event, I guess, so uh, let's click that. Let's create a party. I'm going to put some guys in my party here. Looks like a fighter, that's a good choice. A ranger. Gotta have a ranger on there. And a druid. Why not a druid? You know what? I'm actually gonna... I'm taking the druid off, and I'm gonna put a rogue on there. How about that? There we go. And I'm gonna put the druid, too. Alright, so now we got a full party, and we're gonna start the adventure. If I can get to the bottom of the screen there. Bam. Oh, this music. I think they did an update to the game. And gave it some music because the first time I downloaded this game and played it, it had no music. So, I, I kind of like the music, I gotta say. Honestly, it's a huge improvement in my opinion. Even though, it, eh, it's okay. It's good. But anyway, it's an idle RPG like I said before. And all you do is just watch these guys play the game for you. You go through these dungeons and kill these random bad guys here. These monsters and you pick up loot and gold coins and all that sort of thing so let's just go through and get a short explanation of what everything is so here we have the scrolls and status screen where you can use your scrolls that you picked up there you can use your unlock scrolls once you unlock them you can unlock five and you start out with one the shock scroll down here we have a breakdown of each of our party members. So I got Hugo, Ellie, Casey, and Drago. Drago the Druid. And you can also unlock a fifth character slot, but that takes a while to do. I'll explain that later. And you just get some basic stats. Potions, you'll pick up potions as you pick them up. You can use them. Potions do different things. So say I pick up a potion for treasure rooms. That will put random treasure rooms into the dungeon so I'll come across a room just full of gold coins or I'll get a potion for double experience or you know just random status boosts that you can get in the form of a potion so here is the upgrades panel which is where you do most of your interacting and right now I'm gonna equip a bunch of items that I picked up you can upgrade your guys your party members you can unlock little bonuses here there's some more items. You can unlock little bonuses here with uh, your kills. Every time you kill an enemy, you get like a currency, a kill currency. That's this right here, this little guy in the corner, or this count right here. So far, I have 28 kills. And you could use those kills to purchase things like more gold drops. Um, any of these things down here, average monster count, they'll give you more monsters per, per uh, room. And that's, that's basically it. It's pretty simple. Eventually, once I complete a dungeon, I'll be able to purchase those defeated dungeons as well so let's go to the menu though and check out some stuff here we're gonna level up this druid because it's highlighted in blue which means we can level up some stuff here so right now i unlocked wolf pack that will allow my druid to summon a wolf and i thought sometimes when i start out i guess maybe the last time i played this game it just gave me the perk of being able to unlock a few things right off the bat, but since I'm just starting the game over, I don't think I can do that. Anyway, I'll go over a few of these options here in the menu screen. So the main just brings you back to your game, and you can watch your guys play the game for you because it's an idle RPG. Um, dungeons, these are dungeons that you can unlock. Right now there's only one because I've only been in one. The Bale from The Baleful Monolith. And I guess I'm currently working on this one, but once I complete it and go back out to the overworld, I'll be able to purchase this. Oh, second soundtrack. That's what I'm talking about. This is pretty sweet. But anyway, once I purchase this, it will harvest these enemies for me. So this will give me 100 kills every time it harvests. So every... I don't know, every five minutes it'll give me 100 kills. And it adds up when you get 32 dungeons farming your kills for you. It adds up and you can purchase a whole lot of these upgrades right here. So it's pretty useful. I'm going to upgrade my fighter here. 
monsters, these are just monsters that you're currently fighting. And you have to unlock new levels of monster to kind of progress to the higher castles to defeat different castles. And castles, you can see right here. If I go to the map, this is the overworld map. Right now, I guess I'm in this dungeon right here. And when I defeat the dungeons in this area, I'll go to this castle probably and defeat that castle. When you defeat the castle, you can purchase the dungeons um, and you unlock new monster levels to go and fight new castles. So that's kind of cool. And the map is just a way of showing you visually where you've been, what castles you've defeated, what castles you have yet to conquer or visit. Here's a list of the names of the castles and the dungeons you need to complete before you can fight each actual castle. So the Ruined Fortress, I need to fight three dungeons before I can actually go defeat that castle. Here we have points. In the points panel, we can see a breakdown of how many adventure points. That's these points up here, the 3,300 adventure points up there. So every time I kill a monster, I'll get one adventure point. Every time I open a door, one adventure point. Come down here. Every time I find an uncommon item, I'm going to get, what is it? Three adventure points? It's not that much. But when you do collect enough adventure points, you can go to your upgrades panel and you can purchase something. So usually they cost quite a bit, like 500,000 adventure points. Before I can unlock an additional five scrolls that I can pick up and add to my inventory, I'll have to collect 500,000 adventure points. Right now I have 3,000. It's going to take me quite a while. Go down to the bottom. This game takes a while to play. It'll take multiple days to play through this. You can get faster healing for 30 million adventure points that's that's insane that's a ton of adventure points to spend achievements this panel just shows you things that you've achieved so in order to unlock this first one here i think you have to kill a certain number of enemies and when you do you'll unlock that achievement and it'll give you a bonus in your breakdown here so say that achievement gives me one more ap per monster kill so that'll show up here and it'll add one to my AP per deed and I'll have two AP per monster kill that I'll get. So that's pretty cool. It's just, it's a farming game. If you like farming, this is the game for you right here. Go see some info, give these guys some credit. If you want to look over this, give credit where credit's due. Settings, pretty useful stuff here. We can... select these i guess this was updated there used to be a checklist right here of things that you can hide maybe because it's the first playthrough you can't see the checklist but say you're trying to work on a specific achievement and you don't need to get more item drops because you've already cleared all the item drop achievements or i guess that'll be this one right here say you don't need that anymore so you just hide this and then when you go to your main upgrade panel you won't see any of these and you won't be tempted to buy them and you'll focus on other things like maybe monster count or unlocking your, your new monsters to get higher level guys. So it's pretty helpful. Let's go back into the info panel. Statistics. This will just show you how long you've played the game, the current game right here I've played, and then the total game. Because you can play this game multiple times. When you beat it, you can prestige. Or you can continue on with the same party. And this will keep track of your total play time and stats and stuff like that. Information. Here we have some helpful tips and ways to play the game which is useful because this game can be a little confusing when you just start out I mean your player is moving all by himself you're like what am I even supposed to do here rewards this allows you to watch video advertisements for the game and as a bonus to you when you watch a video advertisement it will give you a little perk like here if I watch a 30 second video I can get, and right now I'm not connected to the internet, so I can't load these videos because I don't want to show you guys ads, but say I do watch an ad when I'm connected back up to the internet, I'll get double adventure points for two hours or come down here. Some fun cows will join my party and fight alongside my adventures, so that's pretty cool. And as I showed you guys before, this is just a breakdown of the skills for each player. Every player has his own unique skill set and... Let's go to a cool one here. Let's go to the druid. Like I was saying before, he can summon wolves. So if I go back to the main menu, he should have a little wolf. See that little wolf right there? 
He's fighting on your team now, which is pretty cool stuff. So it's a fun little game. Kills a lot of time. I mean, it really kills some time. But really, all you have to do is come in here, update everything, collect all your your uh, upgrades, drink all your potions, and the game plays itself. So when you turn the game off, it will keep track of the system time. And when you turn it back on again, say you turn it on four hours later, it'll give you up to nine hours of offline time and add up all those hours and play the game for you really quick when you enter back into the game and give you those nine hours of playtime, which is really helpful because I don't want to sit here for nine hours and play this game. It gets really boring if there's nothing to do, nothing to upgrade, and you're not leveling up your guys, but... That's basically the game in a nutshell right there for you. So I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to go give the game a download, it's it's a pretty fun game. And now that has sound, I think it's actually pretty good. Like, I think I'm going to play this a little longer after I stop doing this video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the content, like the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. Just starting out, trying to get my feet on the ground with this whole YouTube thing. And just really appreciate you guys watching the video. So thank you very much. Have a good one.